Hey guys, it's manager Kylie and in today's video, I'm going to go through the rules of golf. So today I'm going to go through the rules of golf and how the game of golf works. The sport of golf is definitely unique compared to many other sports. It's an individual sport that actually has scoring with the lowest number of points is actually the winner. So this makes it a unique sport. So I'm going to go through the different rules and how the game of golf works. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload and post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So the basic goal of the game of golf is to get the ball from the tee box into the hole. You want to get the ball to the hole in the fewest amount of strokes. Each golfer has a bag with clubs in it and they can have up to 14 different clubs in it. Each club has a different purpose and there's a few different types of clubs. Your first type of club is your driver and this one has the goal of just hitting the ball as far as you can closest to the hole. So you want to take that from that tee box and your goal is to just try to get as far as you can to get close to the hole. You then have hybrids. Now your goal with a hybrid club is to hit the ball airborne and to hit it over 150 yards. And then you have your irons. These are generally two to nine irons. And these again are trying to get that ball closer to the hole. Everything you're doing is to get the ball closer. These again hit at a generally longer range. If you hit them really short, some people hit them at as low as 90, but generally it's more in like the 120 to 190 range is what these are hitting from. Now for your irons, they have different numbers on them. Generally you have them two through nine. The smaller the numbers, so your twos, threes, and fours are generally gonna hit the ball much farther than your nine, eight, seven. The higher the number, so a nine, eight, seven is meant to hit the ball shorter distances. And this is all based on the angle of the club. It generally hits it higher up in the air, but less distance. Then you have your wedges, and these are meant to hit the ball up in the air and very short. So these are generally used to get out of sand traps and to get from very close to the green onto the green. And then finally you have your putter, and this is meant to roll the ball into the hole. So a golfer starts on hole number one, and most courses run with 18 holes. Occasionally you'll have courses that are only nine holes. And then for professional tournaments, they play four rounds of 18 to make 72 total holes. Now the golfer starts with the ball placed between the two tee markers. These are up in the tee box. You have to place the ball behind those two tee markers. It has to be within two club lengths of the back of those two tee markers. And your basic goal of golf is to get that ball each shot closer to the hole and the more shots it takes, the worse your score is. Generally, you alternate shots between whoever you're playing with and usually whoever is farthest from the hole is the next person to take a shot. Now the scoring in golf is definitely unique. So you're aiming for par. That means you are perfectly even with what's expected for the hole. If you get something like a bogey, that means you shot above. If you get a birdie, that means you shot below. And golf is all based on what the expected is. And if you're interested in learning more about golf scoring, I will have a video linked up in the iCard so you can learn more about that. Another big thing in golf is you have to play the ball where it lies. So if the ball is in some tall grass, you just have to play it in that tall grass. One thing that can change about this is if you hit the ball out of bounds, you do incur a penalty, which is an added stroke to your score, and then you have to re-hit that ball. You may also end up in a water hazard. This again, you have to re-hit the ball and it is another one stroke penalty. Another thing you might end up in is sand traps or bunkers. And these are generally around the green and these have their own restrictions with them. You're not allowed to put the club down into the sand. So you cannot interrupt the sand at all. You just have to swing before, you can't put your club down before you swing. You just have to swing at the ball. You cannot move anything around your feet or the ball or anything. The sand cannot be interrupted. You just have to hit it where it lands. And one thing to know about all golf holes is Every golf hole is different. There's no two holes that are the same. And even sometimes when you play courses, you might not hit the ball in the exact same spot. So you may be playing a different part of that hole. Holes are different lengths. Generally, the longer the hole is, the increase it will have in its par. So you usually see five, four, or three as the par. The longer the hole, the larger the par value is. 
You might see some holes that are about 120 yards that are par threes. You might have holes that are 150, 170 yards that are par threes. There are ranges to that and no hole is gonna be the same. Some have more water elements, some have more sand elements, some are just grass, some are straight, some go uphill. Everything is different. So it's definitely learning how you hit your clubs and how you want to play each different type of hole as you go to different golf courses and try and experiment with your different clubs. So those are some of the basic rules of golf. If you have any questions about golf, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to go into more details and answer any questions you have. If you're interested in learning the rules for any other sport, definitely check out the playlist linked at the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys next Wednesday.